Cells, the building blocks of your body, from head to toe. Cells are what make you, you. But where exactly do we get all these different kinds of cells, like skin cells and bone cells? Where do they come from? And how do they know what kinds of cells to become? A stem cell is the basic cell in your body that has the ability to become any kind of cell it wants to. It's a blank slate. They are what all the specialized cells in your body originate from. You're made from stem cells, and even as an adult, you still contain stem cells all around your body. When a stem cell needs to change, it receives cues. Cues are the internal and external factors that act on the cell to cause it to change. For instance, let's say you broke a bone while playing a sport. By taking cues from the other cells around them, stem cells are what cause you to heal. In this case, these stem cells would be referred to as mesenchymal stem cells and can change into many different cells. Bone cells around the fracture signal to your stem cells by sending proteins, enzymes, and antibodies to the stem cell. These molecules are passed through the cell membrane and into the cytoplasm. The molecules then migrate to the nucleus, which is where all the DNA is stored. All cells contain the same DNA, but not all cells express the same sections of DNA, which is how cells become specialized for different jobs in your body. In order for DNA to be expressed or turned on, it must be easily accessible for DNA transcribing proteins to attach to the DNA strands. This means that DNA needs to be loosely twisted as a double helix so that proteins can unwind and straighten it easily to start the duplication process. If it is too tightly coiled up, proteins cannot unwind it, meaning that that section cannot be transcribed. In stem cells, all of the DNA is loose and accessible to proteins, meaning it has all of its genes turned on. This is what makes it possible for stem cells to turn into another cell, because they are able to express the characteristics of other cells due to none of their DNA being tightly wound up. The molecules sent over from the specialized bone cell into the stem cell migrate to the nucleus and signal to transcription factors to begin the process of inactivating sections of DNA that do not match their host bone cell. After receiving the signal, transcription factors read the DNA strands, find the sections that don't code for bone cells, place chemical epigenetic tags on the histone tails uh -huh. of the nucleosomes that guard the section of DNA, Boink. and structural proteins coil the section up tightly. When only the sections of DNA that match the bone cell's DNA are turned on, the next time the cell divides, its two daughter cells will become specialized bone cells. This transfer between stem and bone cells happens to a multitude of cells around the damaged area, and with the help from other cells like osteoblasts, in time, your fractured bone will heal. Stem cells are the foundation on which your body was built, and are essential to growing and healing throughout your lifetime. I hope you learned something new today. Bye!